Jeremy Clarkson, 62, was slammed by the Badger Trust after the former Top Gear star made some controversial claims about the mammals in a new episode of his farming show. In the midst of the controversy, the broadcaster has seemed to aim a dig at musician Brian May, 75, who is an outspoken activist against Badger culling. On Sunday, the Diddley Squat Farm suffered an overload of visitors, leading Jeremy to put an alert out on Twitter warning people of where they can and cannot park. Throughout the day, the media personality responded to comments that cropped up with questions or concerns. One person commented, referring to a recent episode of Clarkson's Farm, well done for investigating the TB and inoculation of badgers and highlighting bovine TB and that other animals carry it. Jeremy brutally replied, taking a jab at rock icon Brian May, I get my advice from a vet. Not the guitarist in Queen. The second season of Clarkson's Farm released on Prime Video earlier this month with episode 4 garnering a mixture of reviews across social media, particularly concerning his badger problem. As Jeremy takes cattle onto his diddly squat property, the TV personality was informed that badgers, as well as being a protected species, can't transmit bovine tuberculosis which could affect his newly procured cows. In the episode the broadcaster lamented his situation, particularly the Badger's protected species label, I don't know what to do. You've got Brian May going around, oh Badgers are lovely and countryfile telling you, aren't the sweet. So I can't shoot them because everyone thinks they're sweet. You can't shoot them, or gas them, or fill in their holes. The presenter was also informed that damaging a badger's set and killing a badger could be punishable by up to 12 months in prison and a £40,000 per badger or set. The 62-year-old noted that almost 100 badgers live in the area around his property, and when some badger corpses were found they were tested and returned the positive result for tuberculosis. The farmer endeavored to get his cattle tested, none of which were found to have TB, fortunately. Don't miss, Sir Brian is an outspoken animal rights activist and is openly against badger culling. The musician even lent his musical ear to the cause, singing and playing guitar for the 2013 track Save the Badger. Last year, Sir Brian took his activism to Parliament and documented his trip with some selfies on Instagram featuring his I Support a Fur Free Britain pamphlet. He wrote to his 3 million followers, speaking at a reception organised by Humane Society International to try to make sure the government keeps to its promise to end the import of foie gras and fur. Also of course demanding an end to the hideous and useless badger cull, 140,000 beautiful native British animals have now been slaughtered, producing no benefit for cows or farmers. And to tighten up the laws against fox hunting and other blood sports. The Badger Trust also reacted to the episode of Clarkson's Farm, branding it as outlandish, ill-informed and dangerous. The Trust claimed that the episode is part of a long tradition of demonizing badgers in this country and blasted Jeremy's advisor as misguided. The charity also noted that cows are the primary spreaders of bovine tuberculosis, making up over 94% of cattle infections, adding, yet it's easier to scapegoat badgers, 